Hello everyone, welcome back to another art tasting. This painting is called I Shall Rise. It's three foot by six foot. Um, I had to custom make it, the frame and, and stretch the canvas and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through some of this painting and let you see the details and my inspiration and um, some of the style that I have. All right, let's get started. What you're seeing here are my thoughts on paper. The conceptual design of this painting, the ladybug which got dismissed. Here is the layout. I notice the left to right flow at the top. I'm going to talk about that in a little more detail. And the big flyer on the right actually is on the left now. One of the interesting things about a painting and the artist and how they make it is, on a, especially on a painting like this, is um, the forethought that goes into it. Sometimes it just comes out and you, and you make the painting. But there's other times where, you know, there's a lot of thought that's, that goes into the painting and how it's put together. For example, you know, this has a left to right flow to it. Um, and in our culture, in, in English language speaking culture, we read left to right, top to bottom. If this was a painting done in the, in the Arabic, in the Middle East, I would go bottom right to top left. And what I mean by that is I put this, this big flower here on purpose. So the first thing you do is you see the painting right away, boom, it catches your eye. And then the next thing, you usually focus up here, just like anything else in life, a menu, you start at the top left, look at appetizers and you go down through the menu. It would be odd if you opened a menu and had dessert and then appetizers and then the main course was somewhere else and you had other things, pairings, it would, it would be like, what is this? It'd be confusing. Everybody kind of follows a pattern. There's rules and there's guides to that and they're for a good reason. So um, I applied it here kind of to trick your eye, but to really get you to um, look at this painting so you see it all together. I mean, it's, it's, it's by design. So you start here and then the flow goes, goes off down here and then it comes into a, a very um, open space and then, it, which is, you know, very, just nothing there, kind of a negative space. And then it comes back up into those, those sunflowers and shoots off to the canvas. And then you come back right back and you look at the whole thing again and then you start back over here and your eye kind of does that a couple of times whether you know it or not subconsciously that's what it does and then it starts to wander into the details it starts to go into the horizon working its way out then you start looking at the the, the subtleties and the and the details um, that's like i said that's by design that's kind of what i put that together okay so here we go. I want to dive into this, try to get this video to show you the details that it's hard to see on the website and far away. The big flower here on the left, the commanding flower, the start of the whole painting, the kind of the showpiece. Look at the detail here. Uh, I appreciate it. It doesn't get fuzzy. It doesn't get lost. If anything, the closer you get, the more shadows you see, the more highlights, the more squiggles. Um, I'm even impressed and I'm you know, I don't get impressed with my own stuff very often But this one just turned out really well and I love how I kind of drifted off some of the petals off into the into the distance The black background. I love that it doesn't get you too lost It pushes you back to the foreground back where the flowers are The red I like the red how it glistens off kind of that sunset or, or sunrise depending on how you want to play it but i like the sunset idea the clouds were so much fun i i played with so many different techniques um, i wanted it to be abstract and yet also look like clouds so there's realism in there the fluffy clouds like that orange and yellow yet the abstract on the left the orange lots of different uh, techniques there lots of different colors uh, bring them all together, still make them look like clouds, but give you lots of color. And then these these little three sunflowers, I like the bottom one where it kind of peeks off in the different direction. It wants to look a different way. Trying to get you some camera angles here to get you some, some different looks. Uh, the signature is going to come up here in just a second. It's a screen print process that I've done on some of my paintings. I really like the crisp, clean look that it gives. So here I want to get real up close and kind of explain my, my technique. Okay, as you can see, I'm very quick stroke with my, with my petals. 
They're not detailed and controlled. They're very much kind of off the page and you'll see some splatters here and there intentionally. This is an impressionism style. It's not trying to make it look exactly like a sunflower. It's not hyper-realism by, by any means. And to me, it's, I like breaking that rule, you know, where, where you have the rule of, of how the painting's put together and some artistic guides you're supposed to follow. And, you know, it has to look like a sunflower, right? But there are some other things that, you know, I can break and I do that on purpose. To me, that flower doing that it's the, the whole painting, my whole technique here is freedom. It means freedom to me personally. And if you like my style and you like my paintings, it's probably touching you in that way too. There's a certain amount of liberty that you get with the way that I'm painting. I'm just, just throwing the paint out. It looks haphazard, but it's not. It's actually, you know, there's, there's rules to it. There's certain things that I'm doing, the depths, the tones, um, the certain colors, the hues, et cetera. But, in an essence, it is still, you know, freedom. The little squiggles that I, I tend to like, I've started putting those in my paintings, um, usually for the highlights. So I'm kind of, instead of painting a highlight, um, for an example, like, you know, let's say this might be a highlight in here, or, or this is a good example of the different tones of highlights. Eh, got some paint on my finger. But um, also, there's a little bit of squiggle in here, and that's also representing highlights, but in a different way. So your, your eye sees it as a highlight, uh, but when you go in detail, you see that it's, it's just a squiggled line. So it's kind of some trickery there. Um, the orange in here that does the same thing. That's not what, it's, it's con concave like that. You know, the, the, the sunflower, it shouldn't do that. But it's kind of abstract. You know, I'm, I'm pushing, pushing, pushing the limits of Impressionism to, to an abstract style. And that's, just, that's my style. I like the freedom of it. Like the, um, I want to go on vacation where I want to go. I want to do things that I want to do. I still has to look like a sunflower. I can't just drive on any side of the road I want, right? There's got, there's some rules I have to follow, but there's also a lot of freedom that I get to. Well, I hope you enjoyed this artist tasting of my painting, I Shall Rise, this massive painting. I'm very proud of it, which doesn't happen very often as an artist. I'm always chasing the next best thing. What can I do better? And this painting I was really satisfied with. It doesn't happen very often. I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't add anything. I like it just the way it is. So you can see this in a, without all the glare and the, you know, a nice picture out on my website, shamemillerart.com. Uh, if you wanted to, or if you're interested in it, certainly email me, text me, phone call. There's prints out on my website you can get as well. Um, but more than that, if you're really interested, I can offer a high resolution image, which is like 700 to 800 meg. Um, you contact me and I can get you that. Okay, enough of the marketing stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.